Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial I am going to show you how you can upload data in Laravel using Azure. It means I will show you how you can upload data without reloading your browser. So this is actually really easy. So, so first of all here you can see this is just a freshly created Laravel project and I also created table for that project and here I created table called post over here and in this table we have title and description field. So we will upload those data in the database table without reloading our page or with using Ajax. Okay. So first of all, let's go and make some input field so that we can upload some data. So here you can see this is a welcome page. So we'll just directly go to our uh, welcome. So we we'll just go to resource views and here you can see welcome.blade.php. So let me just remove everything from here. So right now if we set this, then if we now refresh here, here you can see this page is blank. So over here we'll have some input field. So let's go back and here let's just over here simple HTML. Then here inside the body, let's mention a form over here. Then inside this form we'll have some input field. So first of all, let me just write over here div. Then inside this div we we'll say over here level. Level will be title. Then we are going to say over here a input field for the level title. So let's say here input type will be text and let's say here name will be title so let me just copy this ctrl c and i'm going to paste it two times so this one will be for description so let's say over here description and here instead of title for the name we'll say here description uh, let's just keep that this smaller so after this here this will be the submit button so let me just remove the level so input type will be submit and let's just say here stop name we say here hello it will be add so right now if we now save this then refresh here here you can see we have the input field so let's just have them in the middle so what we thought we'll do is that we'll just keep this form inside and center tag and let's just say over here center we start over here and it will end over here okay so if we save then if we now refresh here here you can see it's in the center so let's just add some br tag so here if we use br tag it will just create some gap or space so let's say here br let me just copy this paste it here i'll just paste it every every other div so here as well save then refresh here and here you can see of the title and description field so right now, first of all, what we need to do is that uh, we'll just right click go to the form and here inside this form, let's just say over here action and then we'll say here method, method will be post and we also need to add at the dog csrf token and here inside this action, let's just mention a URL, let's say here URL to first bracket single quotation, we'll say ajax uh, upload so right now, uh, if you want to upload data using Ajax, so then for this form, we need to mention an ID over here. So we say over here ID, let's say here at post. You can basically name the ID anything you want. We'll just go with at post. So right now, we'll just go down and we'll write some code for this ID called at post. So let's just go down and here you can see the body tag. So before this body tag, we'll say over here script then inside this peep we'll say here dollar to first bracket document then we'll say dot ready to first bracket we'll say here function then we'll give to first bracket again and here you can see the first bracket started over here and here we'll give keep this first bracket separate separate and here we'll just keep to second bracket okay so let me just write it like this. So here we'll just write it like this and we need to give a semicolon over here. So right now here inside this document.ready function, we are going to call this uh, form at post. Okay, so here let's go down and here we are going to say dollar. Then we'll give to first bracket to single question. We we'll say what here has for the ID and we we'll say what here at post. And here you can see this at post hash at post is basically this one okay so after this we'll say over here dot on to first bracket to single quotation we'll say over here submit so on someone click on this submit button we'll say over here comma 
function to first bracket event then here you can see a first bracket over here so this first bracket is for this submit okay so we'll keep this separate and here for this add post we need to give to second bracket so just like before let's just make it look like this so that you can understand it clearly so after this we are going to write some ajax code and in order to write the ajax code what we need to do is that we need to add the ajax cdn at the top of our head section okay so for it let me just go to the browser and let me just search over here ajax cdn link then here we'll just directly go to this address cdns.com and here you can see uh, this is the jQuery CDN link basically, jQuery as a same thing. So here you can see, so we'll just click on the middle one. Okay, so if I just click it here, it got copied. So we'll just paste it in the head section of our code or of our view. Okay, so we just paste it here. So right now we are ready to write our as a code. So here, let me just show you. If I just say over here, alert to first bracket and let's just say over here, hello. So right now, if we set this, uh, let me just show you, it will reload our browser. Let me just say, show you over here. If I now write anything over here and click add and then click OK, here you can see it's reloading. But here, what we are going to do here is you can see that we mention an event over here. So using this event, we can stop our browser from reloading. So we'll say over here event dot prevent capital D E F A U L T default. So what it will do is that it will stop our browser from reloading. So let's just save this. Then let's just refresh over here and let's just say random things over here. And if we now click add, it will show us a alert. If you click OK, here you can see the page did not reload it. OK, so let's go back to our code and let's remove this alert from here. So right now we're going to show over here J Q -E dot ajax then we'll give to first bracket over here like this then we'll give to second bracket like this okay so for this one we don't give any semicolon so here inside this jquery dot ajax we are going to first mention over here url so here we are going to mention the route name which was basically we just write over here url ajax upload let me just copy this and we can just paste it over here and let's just keep this inside to double quotation over here so after this we'll give a comma over here then we'll just, just say over here, here we'll, we'll say data, data clone jquery to first bracket to scene quotation and here we are going to mention the form id and here you can see that form id is at post so basically we'll mention this over here so after giving the hash we'll say over here at post dot we we'll say CLI A C R I A L I J T to first bracket. Then we we'll give another comma, then we'll show over here type. Obviously it will be post since we have to upload data to the database table. Then we'll give a comma over here. So first of all, let me just explain it to you. So first of all, we are saying that we have to go to this URL and we'll take all the data inside the form. And that form is at post. Basically, whatever data we have inside this form we are just mentioning over here and then we are saying the type will be post okay so after this we'll just say over here success so this is the success message so if the data is successfully uploaded then what we are going to do so here for the success we will mention function then we'll say over here to first bracket then we'll it's just say something let's say result you can basically say anything let's just go with result to first bracket and for this let's say for uploading the data successfully we we'll just do nothing okay let's just keep it empty so right now uh, we need to create this url so let's go to routes then web.php and here i'm going to say route double clone the route will be post here we're going to mention the url which is basically this one ajax upload then we'll give a comma over here to third bracket we'll say here home controller double clone class comma let's say upload so right now we'll go to home controller and create this function called upload so let's go to app http controller and home controller so here we're going to set public 
function upload to first bracket we say here request dollar request since this is a post request we give to second bracket and here we are just going to say the normal thing just the way we normally upload the data in laravel so here first of all we just declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we'll say here new we'll mention the table origin which is post and i already added the post model at the top of our controller there you can see so right now we'll just say over here dollar data this arrow sign will say title equal to here obviously as you already know this will come from the database table but let me just show you uh, from here you can see title and description and here we are going to say dollar request this arrow sign we are going to show it here title and this title will come from uh, from here from the welcome.blade.psg here you can see name equal to title and how we are getting it basically here we are mentioning that at post serialized so basically we are getting all the data in the ajax okay so right now uh, after title let me just copy this and say and paste it here we are going to say here description instead of title description and after this we will just show it here dollar data arrow sign save i hope you find this tutorial easy so after this we will just show it here return response it, it won't be return redirect it will be return response to first bracket this arrow sign and it will be json okay so here for json we'll give to first bracket then to third bracket so for now let's just keep this uh, empty so it will return as a json response so basically it will not refresh our browser so i hope you are clear so let me just explain it again so first of all here we are mentioning a form then method and here we are mentioning the id at post so whatever we have over here uh, we have access over here so here we are just first of all prevent we are seeing over here if someone click on the add post submit button which is this one add post submit button so first of all we prevent the browser from refreshing by writing this event prevent default after this we are writing some ajax code we are mentioning the url and the data which is the add post which is basically the form form id and then after succeeding we'll just uh, show some message or something let's just keep this empty for now and here we are just basically uploading the data normally the way we upload data in laravel but only this thing is different okay return response so right now let's just go to our browser and uh, let's refresh over here and let's just say random things over here and right now if we just click add here you can see the browser did not reload it but if you go to our database table and if you now refresh our browser okay it did not upload any data i think uh here everything should be fine let's check our this will come this as a code okay here you can see type for type we need to give two single quotation over here i just missed the single quotation over here let's save this and let's now refresh here again and let's say again another random title and description click add it did not reload it let's refresh over here and here you can see we have title and description so let's just do one more thing that is going to upload the data then the input field will be empty so for it how to do is that here you can see we already write a success function over here so here inside this success function we'll say j query to first bracket to single question hash and here we are going to mention the form id which is at post then we'll give to third bracket which says zero then we'll say here reset to first bracket and semicolon so what it will do is that after uploading the data successfully it will make the input field value null okay so right now if save this again refresh here let's say random things here and here and if you now click add here you can see the value in the input field is gone and if we now refresh over here here you can see that data over here so let's also show a message that data uploaded successfully at the top so for it what we need to do is that first of all we'll just mention a div let's say we want to show the message at the top of our form so inside the center let's mention a div and here we mention id let's say it will be message 
and let's keep the div empty it will not show anything so right now we need to send a message from the home controller so here you can see that we keep the uh, return this for json empty so here we're going to say message equal to to single quotation let's say data uploaded successfully so let's save this and right now in order to catch this message in the welcome.blade.php we need to write something in this success function so and that is let me just write it over here first of all first of all we need to make sure that we are uh, showing this div so basically this div is empty so it will not show at the beginning so here uh, you can see id equal to message so here in this success function we are going to say dollar to first bracket message uh, it will be hash then we are going to say over here dot css to first bracket to single position then we say here display it will be blocked so we want to show that div so after this we will catch the message inside that div so after this we will say here jquery to first bracket single position hash message so here this hash message is basically this one okay so after this here we are going to say dot html to first bracket then here you can see we mention a uh, variable over here result so we are going to say over here result dot and this time here we are going to write uh this message okay so we we'll just paste it over here i hope i'm clear i'm trying to explain everything as much as possible so right now if we save this then let's refresh here again okay expecting equal for this okay i made a mistake over here so let's go back and in the home controller after this equal sign we need to give this arrow sign let's save this again uh let's refresh here again and here if we now write anything here and here then if we click add here you can see message data uploaded successfully okay message uploaded successfully okay it is showing us some message but it shouldn't be shouldn't be over here uh it should show us at the top of our input field so let me just check it in the welcome.plate.php uh css display okay here is stop will stop we need to give a comma over here so let's save this again then let's refresh here let's write something and something over here then click add and here you can see it is showing us a message that data uploaded successfully if we now refresh our browser if we refresh our browser here you can see the data over here so this is how you can upload data in laravel using ajax i hope you find this tutorial easy if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section and if you want more tutorial like this make sure to subscribe i will upload more tutorial like this thanks again for watching i'll see you in the future tutorial